after nearly 60 odd years of government, we still don't know how to make our laws and our policies litigation proof. But when you stand outside government, you realize how government can be improved, how governance can be improved. And the best way to reflect on your years in government is to speak, of course, but more importantly, to write. But the speech is free, is being increasingly questioned. But I suppose they won't question whether writing is free. <coughs> not many of us are willing to speak up. We are speaking, but we're not willing to speak up. We've had the best decadal growth in India's independence history since 2004 to 2014. I never tire of saying that. The best decadal growth in India's independent history was 2004 to 2014. We want to do better. But the year did not end with the narrative dominated by the economy. The year has ended on a completely different narrative. Instead of the rise of the economy, we have the rise of intolerance. Instead of a narrative of cooperation, we have a narrative of confrontation. Instead of a narrative of a safe and secure people, we have a narrative of more and more people becoming apprehensive and insecure. That is what is worrying me. And that is what should worry all of us who, let me say, are far more privileged than nearly 700 or 800 million people of our country. Let me conclude by quoting my favorite poet, saying Tirvayuga, a king without a critic will fall even if he has no enemies. A king must embrace his critic. A king must listen to his critic. A king must welcome his critic. 